Hey you guys, I have a message from a masculine. Um, I feel that a lot of energies have cleared. I feel there is something shifting with the Divine Masculines. And so I'm going to get started um, with the reading. They were showing me the Kipper deck, so we're going we're gonna to start with that. And I'm sorry about the last video. I don't know why the sound processed that way, and um, I'm not using my mic today, so I'm hoping that that's better, uh, so you're going to hear the birds more and things like that, but it must be something with the transition of the energy, so I'm chalking it up to that. There's a lot of different energies that are moving through because of Mercury retrograde, and yeah, and I'm feeling this masculine... Uh, kind of coming to terms with his own demons per se and his regrets and so let's see what this masculine wants to say this is a daily read for the collective is this divine masculine what is it that he is wanting to say i, I brought my blanket from home so i hope you guys like it <laughs> um what is it that this masculine wants to say so he's really thinking about family right now. Let's turn the light. Oh, I didn't have the light turned. Sorry, guys. It's probably better. He's thinking a lot about family right now. He's thinking about the home life that he wants to create. And he's getting very close to this is what I'm feeling because it's great fortune. We have 21 and 26. So that is a 3 and an 8 if those numbers resonate with you. Um... There's great abundance here that he's really thinking about family. And so it could be that this masculine already has children, thinking about his children, thinking about, um, yeah, that's where he's at right now. We're going to clarify on his mind. That's the present situation is that he's really thinking about this family, um, what he wants to manifest and the good fortune that he wants in his present life. This is his present moment family children home money his abundance and i feel there's a planning energy on his mind is the maturing of his soul so this masculine is coming into a maturity um, that's the higher realms that are coming down to that he's hit a level of maturity and he's thinking about it. i feel this masculine is feeling very proud about where he's been He's matured out of his lack mindset. So if you guys have been paying attention, go back and watch some of the previous videos. Uh, there's a lot about this black mentality that's been coming up. And this masculine is definitely moving out of this lack mentality. He's matured out of that. Let's see what he's grounding into the present moment. What is this masculine grounding into the present moment? Yeah, they want me to pull from the middle what he wants to do with his life. And this occupation is not just about regular work. It's about mission work to me. It's about, uh, you know, I have hobbies. I'm an artist. I want to know how I can make money from this. I feel this masculine wants to move out of everyday way of living and to work on this. So she's sewing and she looks, you know, pretty content with what she's doing you know let's get another card this is what he wants to ground yeah, they're really going to get the middle of the deck so he wants to go on this journey so he's about to ground something very important here let's see his recent past he's ready to go on a journey he's matured he he's has that awakening that he has matured he is letting go of the lack mindset here and as i'm seeing as he's letting go of the lack mindset it's also because he is coming to a place of how he wants to work in his life and what he wants to actually do in his life and to take a journey in a direction that he's never even done before. He wants something different. He wants something very um, <laughs> like an adventure is feeling that I'm getting. What is the recent past here? He's tapped into some type of youthful uh, energy here so in the past we have distant horizon so if you remember you guys we had distant horizon i believe in that reading that the masculine was coming forward and something to do with the soul tribe family too wanting to know his soul tribe family and community it could also be that he's well known in the community um and he um is very much 
yeah, well known in the community. People look up to this masculine. Um, he has a lot of uh, just community ties and things like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to fix the light for you guys. And um, yeah, so that was something's happened in the distant past here. So we're going to definitely um, move that back so you can see. Oh, there's lots of space there. So let's um, take a look at the just in the near future. So, yeah, he still has some loose tied ends, which he's putting an end to the death, the coffin um, to start his new beginning. And he's thinking about you. So he in the near future could be very. And when I say new near future, like I'm thinking within the next couple of weeks to a month time frame. Um, so within the next month maximum, it's like putting an end more uh, to other situations and thinking about you and how to move forward. And that's what I was feeling is like this planning stage of what I'm getting here. So yeah, let's see what else is coming through. I'm going to use the little Lindstrom tarot to clarify, but spirit wants me to pull this emotional deck because this is, they're telling me that these are the patterns that he's recently healed. So we're going to look at that and we're going to pull some, yeah, some of these, uh, divine counterparts in separation. So that's, before, and then we're going to clarify. So thanks Bert. So let's take a look here. Let's see. What is this? What has he recently healed emotionally? Spirit is like, he's right at the end of this. Okay. This is the final cycle when he makes this decision in the near future to finally end something. Um, I, if it's a karmic relationship, I feel that's already ended. Um, it could be just those loose ends. Finally, he may get something from a judge or the house may finally sell or the last string that was holding him in a cer certain situation is going to end. And then he could finally think about his muse, this divine feminine and how to uh, finally move forward. So it's coming soon. Um, so spirit, I, I did feel something transitioning a lot. Um, let's see what he has transcended in the emotional body. What is the cycle that he's just recently completed? Wow, that came up pretty quick. Huh. We have a blank, and I was being told that two were going to come out, so I feel like that's it, but it's cheating. He's not doing... Oh, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying he's not doing this anymore. It's done. Okay. So if he did cheat, that's right to an end, and that may be that final decision. And one more, Spirit. Can we have one more? domestic violence that's come up before too he's not putting up with domestic violence being demasculated anymore being told that he doesn't know how he feels like a lot of women who are narcissistic or who don't know themselves who aren't awakened to divine feminine energy they're in distorted feminine energy they usually tell the mass you don't know you don't know what you're talking about you don't feel that way they try to deflect a feeling um onto these masculines and um yeah so there is something about that and i just reached in and pulled another one from the middle of the deck the spirit told me to as i was talking and it says nomadic childhood so if they traveled a lot in their childhood or if they um also have abandonment issues that is where that is coming from um abandonment we have emotional abuse on the bottom so that's going with this domestic violence as well so there's a lot of certain things that this masculine has completely healed we have toxic shame as well okay which is where the cheating came in so this masculine has really taken a look at these situations and has really um transcended these things um and really close to transcending these emotional uh wounding so that means divine feminine you're doing the same thing um i know for myself like i used to be in domestic violence all the time people i always i've never had a relationship that didn't have that. i think one relationship but that was an, an emotionally avoidant relationship too so <laughs> yeah and then now spirit just won't even let me be in a relationship it's kind of funny trust me i've tried dating guys i have tried um no what is going on here for this masculine his message towards the divine feminine he really wants to get this message out to the divine feminine in regards to where he is and moving forward and where he's currently at thank you spirit 
and on this side. Was that wanting to come out, Spirit? I don't feel it. No, it didn't need to come out. So, okay. This is really beautiful. So this masculine has been getting a lot of synchronous. Look at this, 10 and 3, 3. So that's coming to a completion. Uh, but the karmic wheel and synchronicity. So he's been getting a lot of synchronicities about karma. What's karma? What's divine? What's true? And that's what's pushed him to heal, like the cheating. He's not going to do that anymore. And that came, this had to come out together, Spirit saying, for you guys, that he's really learned his lesson. You had to see the blank card, okay? That's why they came out together, um, because he doesn't want to do that anymore, okay? And there's a lot of synchronicities that he's been getting about karma and what that is and how dark it is. Um, I'm going to put that over here. And we also have here, can we work things out and abundance? He wants this abundance. And that's that great fortune here. We have a 60 and a 46, so a 10, another 10. So that is ending of a cycle. This journey is also a 10. So we have three 10s. We have the the death card is a 10, four 10s, four directions, the element. We have poverty is a 10. Look at all these cycles that are ending. We have, so that's a seven, that's a seven, nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's a three, that's a five for a change. So we have two sevens and four tens, guys. Okay, and we have a three, three, we have a six and nines are prominent too. So lots of, holy numbers sacred numbers coming through he wants to work things out for this abundance so beautiful and this was the message um that he wanted to say now before we clarify because we're going to get into detail spirit is kind of holding off on the tarot right now what is going on they want me this is a very clear message from a masculine if this is resonating for you i'm going to get the messages they want me to pull one message right now and then after that message what we are going to do is we're going to clarify and there's going to be one final message at the end for you what is the message before we clarify spirit that this divine masculine would like to bring through what is the message for the viewers that are this is resonating for that this message what is this message that the divine masculine would like to say this message to the collective for the viewers please before we clarify i'll put it in the center of the read thank you sorry about that guys the the card fell out it came up up this way and my son uh, listen i i'm hoping to have my children here to be one in nature my parents go and buy him a playstation 5 so anyways, he was trying to authorize something and it comes through my email and it totally like just disconnected my phone. So sorry, because I record with my phone. Okay, so the card that came out was a feminine energy. We're going to read both sides because it did flip. So this is what the masculine is feeling divine feminine energy right now. This is the telepathy that the feminines have been, um, the energy that ma your masculine has been picking up on. And if... Um, your masculine this is the feminine's energy that you're feeling within yourself i feel so abandoned when i can't feel you i know i'm pulling at your energy but i'm in so much pain right now i'm sorry i know you need space so this masculine is feeling this way in his feminine energy he's tapped into his feminine energy you could be feeling the same way and it could also be that you have completely moved on, that you're able to hold your space and still hold love. But because this masculine is still cutting uh, right at the brink of like ending some very big traumas here, abandonment, cheating, domestic violence, um, toxic shame. There's a lot here that's coming up in regards to this cycle of ending in the very near future. And, um, definitely feeling this feminine energy that's how he's feeling and you may be feeling him pulling at you but he's transitioning so i feel like it's a validation for him that you respond in the energy try not to be um you know distant or emotionally unavailable the masculine energy is saying please allow me space in all energies i can't handle us in the physical nor in tel telepathic energetic sorry telepathic etheric realms so this masculine is definitely also pulled back 
So the masculine energy is marrying the feminine exactly, and they're both pulled back in the energy. And so this is the back and forth that happens with twins. It's not a runner chaser in the 3D. That's very narcissistic. Not narcissistic. I shouldn't say it's not always. That word gets thrown around a lot, but can be narcissistic. But it's really... Um, more about toxic relationships, human codependent relationship that that happens in with twin flames. It's more of a psychic back and forth. It can manifest that way, but for most of us, uh, it is like a, a, a back and forth in the energies. Okay. So let's clarify, cause this, this is where the energy is currently at and why, um, you may be feeling your masculine in a dark space, pulling at your energy. Um, and you may be feeling the same thing. So let's take a look. I'm going to use this little mini deck. It's very mini, so it's a little bit harder to shuffle. My spirit. Okay, so let's let's take a look at his present space because his present space here is this family and this abundance, right? So let's take a look at this where this masculine is currently at, spirit with this family and abundance and what he's focused on right now. What is his message? So page of swords we have here, which is discovery, curiosity, communication. So he may have been, I feel for this masculine, may not have been available to his children if he has children. I feel like if he was in a karmic situation that that held him back from his children seeing his children his children want to have anything to do with the karmic energies the ex-wife or whatever it is could also be that um he wants to discover more with family he may want to have a family with you um he wants to discover more of his own innocence as well okay with family his own childhood innocence that he may have lost we have the two of wands here so the two of wands is about contemplating how to move forward with this family and with this great fortune which is also how i see divine feminine energy he's definitely ending a relationship with ten of pentacles in reverse with the two of cups in reverse so that's a marriage a friendship a soulmate connection that is ending here in order to do this clarify that ending spirit we have the ten of wands in reverse so he's definitely over um he's taken responsibility for himself he's done what he needed to do in ending this uh relationship what kind of relationship was this spirit the eight of swords in reverse untrapping himself mentally emotionally okay it was an injustice we have the justice in reverse so whatever if this is a karmic situation he's ended it he's taken responsibility for it he's trying to heal with his family he's trying to discover more with his family he's trying to end the family patterns the mind patterns that he's had growing up as well that's why we can see these emotional wounds that are here that he's healing that lack mentality he doesn't want to be in a place of loss anymore and um he's really healing that and untrapping himself um to discover more of what he can do with family friends close-knit people so let's take a look at what he's matured what has he matured out of this this poverty consciousness spirit that they're they this masculine is very proud of himself he's like you have no idea what i've gone through <laughs> um we have quite a bit here so we have the six of pentacles in reverse with the seven of pentacles in reverse so that means that He's not hard. There was unharp. There was nothing to harvest where he was at. He can't give to a situation that's lack. That's that's nothing is changing. That it's not bearing any fruit. It's um. We have the four of wands in reverse with the five of pentacles, abandoning a marriage, a home life, a foundation that he had. Uh, he's definitely that's on his mind. And we have the ace of swords with the tower in reverse. So I feel like he's not avoiding um, or having a fear of change in this reading. I feel like with the tower in reverse, he's trying to avoid a bigger crash, a bigger tower that could fall down down the road. It may have been that things weren't getting very serious in this relationship or somebody may have wanted marriage and he didn't want to marry. And this person may have said, well, you're commitment phobe or whatever else. But um, it's almost like or if he was in a marriage okay if he did end up getting married it's like uh 
he's healing things with family right now and the children and all of that so that when he does come towards you divine feminine um it's it's not going to be a tower moment it's not going to be dramatic he's trying to avoid all future tower moments he doesn't want anymore this masculine has done a lot of work he doesn't want drama trauma he is quite over it he is um doesn't want any more injustices he is taking the risk here and he's definitely um doing what he needs to do right now to remove that lack because he knows that lack continuously creates tower moments and he doesn't want that anymore so let's see what's grounded because he's definitely grounding something that he wants to enjoy like a hobby i'm seeing some of them as stargazers i'm also seeing that they're very interested in astrology and so they may want to create a platform around that for some of them or they could have interest in rocks i feel like i'm seeing both like stones and rocks and the stars and kind of connecting the two with the stones that i don't know what that's about and um they may want to start their own market or their own platform or their own store or something like that so there's something about what they're very interested in and it's very different than what they're doing and they want to go on this journey so they want to ground it so this is how they're looking at things right now we have the devil this devil has kept them there it could be an obsession but i feel like this dark energy let's see what spirit is saying the page of cups with the hermit in reverse so they had to love them through themselves through some very toxic energies with that devil they had to learn how to give themselves that love something that they haven't been able to do because i feel this mask is constantly giving himself away and he's finally ready to like come out of this hermit mode he's been in that hermit mode clarify that devil and that self-love a little bit more spirit what did he have to heal himself to discover that he's an author he's a musician he's artistic there's something artistic about this masculine pottery is another thing i'm getting um a farmer um something about organic foods okay um making wooden instruments making uh, all kinds of stuff is what I'm getting. So there, this masculine has a lot of interest that he wants to monetize on now. And he may be in a banking system right now or something like that. Something that makes money, but he wants out of it. So there's a lot of shifts happening with this masculine. Um, we have the moon with the hanged man. Major arcana here, okay? So he had to sit. And I was clarifying the devil here, okay? So he had to sit in this devil energy, in the shadow, and be surrendered to it so that he would actually look at it and love himself he is and he was stuck in that so now what's manifesting is he's ready to come out of the hermit mode he's ready to leave that stage so this masculine is coming out of the dark night of the soul so if your masculine's still in it quite heavily um i mean if this resonates for you resonates for you but you'll know right um we have the two of swords in reverse with the five of cups okay so he's seeing very clearly where he regrets things um yeah, and he and he holds that toxic shame that's a toxic shame that we saw okay so then he just ends up being well i'm bad anyways might as well just keep doing bad things um the star in reverse with the queen of wands in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse so this is the karmic energy that he had to get very honest with that this wasn't his destiny with this person okay and so he sees very clearly where he was having regrets and why he was regretful about ending this relationship with somebody because he was stuck in this toxic shame cycle and that he was in a sense cheating because if you're with a divine feminine you're connected in spirit it doesn't matter you can be with a million thousand people you will you will think of your twin every single friggin' day of your life hands down it is not like something that you can just move on from and he had to get very honest because it felt like cheating on this woman because he knew who his soul was married to and so he had to end it and he had to sit in this darkness of why things were happening this way this is a lot of stuff that this masculine had to go through wow and um he wants to go on this journey now what is this journey that he wants to go on that he wants to ground spirit he wants to ground his wishes we have the nine of cups okay we have the five of wands he's been fighting his wishes and his desires which caused a lot of uh, the sun in reverse a lot of depression um and so he's looking he's dreaming <laughs> 
He was stuck in an illusion. I was having a cup story with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Things got halted because of um, his confusion and his depression and that darkness. And he was became very unstable financially as well. Certain things financially wasn't able to move on to anything new. And so now he's ready to move. He doesn't want to be stuck in this anymore. He doesn't want to be stuck in this anymore. Spirit is showing me this one. Three of Swords. He doesn't want to be stuck in this Three of Swords anymore. Okay, so he's picking a new path. Page of Wands. So, wow, amazing. Um, in the recent past here, so this is the karmic wheel and the synchronicities. All of this was showing him where this darkness was, right? So he's really moving past that. And... Um, he wants to work things out as we move into the future energy. So let's take a look at the recent past and the distant horizon. What was that about spirit? Because really, um, that was, you know, something that he always thought was going to be far off is what I'm getting. I won't be able to end this cycle maybe for years. Um, it's going to affect the community. It's going to affect my business. It's going to affect the people around me. Um, but Spirit is saying the Hierophant, he ended that commitment and that marriage. That's what I was feeling. He didn't think that he would be able to leave this Eight of Pentacles. He was willing to work on it. He thought that it was going to be a long haul deal that um, he before he could come towards this feminine. Or the cycle was going to play out because he had so many responsibilities that it, it would take a long time to sort this energy out. Thank you, Spirit. Uh, they're saying that it, he thought because his, his his monkey mind, right, his reptilian mind was like, oh, my God, I'm never going to get out of this situation. It's so interconnected. There's so many things with my family. There's so many things with my business. There's so many things with my work. There's so many things with my kids. There's so many things are so interconnected. How could I ever get out of this? It's going to be in the future. But all of a sudden, Spirit actually made it available and said, this is the opportunity. You need to take it now and the commitment and focus on that. He thought he would have to work really hard and, and it's, it would take a long time. And Spirit was like, no, here you go. It can happen fairly quickly. All you have to do is Ten of Swords in reverse. Own up for your betrayals. Own up. Take the ownership. Don't avoid. Don't try to make things right. Just be the truth. Just speak your truth about the betrayal. Just talk about it. Four of Pentacles, open up about your divine feminine. So this masculine may have been keeping you a secret, okay? And maybe have kept things in a lie. No, I'm not in love with this other woman. No, no, it's over, blah, blah, blah. Spirit is saying, if you're just honest, everything will just play out very nicely. Um, so there's something about honesty too, that toxic shame that he couldn't, own up for because of his abandonment issues and um domestic violence that he witnessed and things like that and it could be that he was in a domestic violence situation that he had to really stand up for himself for this um to talk about this divine feminine clarify this divine feminine this is why the karmic knows if you are new to my channel welcome i should welcome you guys welcome um look at the most recent uh, karmic readings is that the karmic knows about you if this is resonating for you because i feel that ties into this as well with the collective that i'm picking up on we have the king of wands with the two of pentacles so with revealing about this uh divine empress we have here with the four of pentacles opening up and letting go and talking about this empress uh <laughs> he juggled he juggled he debated on how to do that but he did action it in his recent past he did action it okay he did action it and uh, i feel like it was a big relief and he revealed his secrets the high priestess and he told what did he say what did he say exactly <laughs> it took him a long time to get there it was a slow pace to finally do that because of these toxic emotions that were sitting up i want to I want to know what he said. I'm going to pull the, um, what did he say? Okay. Yes, yeah, Spirit is saying, let's do that one. I'm going to do the Romance Angels. What did he say to this energy about, what did he say about the Divine Feminine? What did he reveal? What did he reveal? about the divine feminine to whoever he was talking to what did he actually say about the divine feminine he had his friends help him wow this one wants to come out he said he had his friends help him so that may be mutual friends that you guys have or friends that he had with this karmic person to try and ease the situation 
to be like, can you just talk to this person or can, can we have a group conversation so that we can ease this person into this um, about opening up about the Divine Feminine. He tried to be very playful about it and try to keep things, you know, okay. Um, but he talked about the separation and how he wanted to get to know this Divine Feminine. And, wow, we're going to pull a little bit more. And he wanted to get to know this Divine Feminine because, so, he had help. He had help from other people. And he's like, I wanted to get to know her better. I want to know. I want to end the separation. We're in separation. And uh, let's see. What else did he reveal about the Divine Feminine? Cool. About his awakening. So whatever he activated with you, Divine Feminine, he talked about his awakening with his Divine Feminine, okay? So this is... Wow, guys. This came out with this. I just want to do it in order. Okay. This is how they came out. These two came out together. He opened up about twin flames and abundance. That's what that good fortune was here in the middle of the reading, right? Remember the first card that I brought out? That's what he wants. The great fortune, abundance. Okay. So he really, really wants this... Uh, keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want in the yin yang balance so he revealed okay to this person that he's in separation from his divine feminine he had his friends help him he wanted this person to understand how holy this connection really is um he brought some deep awareness to this individual or it whatever awareness was brought forth um in the recent past is that oops is that he he just needed it for himself even if this other person doesn't get it he just knows that he had to do every single thing possible to close the door and um before he could actually move on because then he could feel good in his conscience so that he could heal all of these things that he's been holding for a long time that he won't bring into his union he won't bring cheating he won't bring toxic shame he won't bring violence or abandonment or emotional abuse issues okay um what also was snake girl with the snake not today so he knows that he was dealing with a narcissistic person and it's almost like he had to do this i feel this was strategically planned um to be able to cut his ties so that in god kind of had to like have him kind of you know this was a slow pace because we had the knight of pentacles so how long he's been sitting in this toxic situation for a while in pain for a long time that he had to take slow movements to make sure that this was unraveling bit by bit by bit because also if you're dealing what i'm getting with is black magic and dark magic and curses that have spanned eons you know <clears throat> it's not just a matter of fact of being like hey let's leave <clears throat> when it comes to my throat, the mask wants to talk to you. It's not like, hey, let's, <clears throat> oh my God, what is that? <clears throat> this mask really wants to talk. Um, it's not like, I'm trying to get your message out, dude, chill out. So there's <laughs> like, it's not like he can't um, just up and leave. There's a lot of responsibilities that he had to be responsible for. And they were so mesh, he didn't know how this was going to happen. And spirit really, truly made it happen. He talked about the twin flames. He talked about his divine counterpart. He told this girl with the snake that it's not today. It's never going to happen with us. I'm not going to settle down and like move to the next level with you. Whatever this is, if they are in a marriage, I'm not staying in this marriage. I want out. So there's definitely something that's happened here because he's talked about his awakening with his twin, how he knows it's true, how he knows why this is his person. And, um, yeah completely and yeah that's he he's he's talking about you know that even that tower this is why this has to fall down with this lightning bolt here right wow well 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 let's see near future guys let's see what this ending is he's definitely bringing an end in the near future energy the ace of cups he's putting um an end to unrequited love he's not going to be in a situation where he's over giving okay where he is king of pentacles unstable financially page of pentacles rejected he's not going to reject himself anymore hallelujah 
wow, this man's very powerful. Where he's going to be over giving his money, getting in financial distraught. He's putting an end to all of that with the Nine of Pentacles becoming very single, very abundant, very independent, very much in his energy. Wow, beautiful. And he's thinking about his Divine Feminine now. Now he's thinking about Eight of Cups. I'm walking away from things towards you, Divine Feminine. This one wants to come out. I want a reunion, Three of Cups, but we're taking these two as well. I want a reunion, Three of Wands, plan for our future. Okay, and he's also thinking about third party situation that he put you in, but I don't feel he's having remorse. We'll grow, we'll grab a little bit more of the romance angels as well, and then we're going to end with messages as well. But he's he's really at a place of like, I want to plan my future, I'm waiting for my ships to come in, I want a reunion, and I'm walking away from things don't serve me so that I can be with you. And I'm thinking of you, and I know that that sacred union is going to help me rise into a divine masculine energy. I haven't risen yet. I'm going to rise for you, Divine Feminine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, girls? <laughs> um, definitely in a place of like, yeah, I, I know that I can't come into my full power until I do this. And when that happens, how friggin' perfect is it? Just perfect. It's like everything this masculine is seeing now was perfectly meant to be exactly how it's happening. So any other final uh, clarifications here? The Fool a new beginning that he's willing to come towards the divine feminine and stopping that knight of wands that player energy i'm not going to do that that in and out energy four of cups in reverse he's taking the cup of god he's coming out of his nostalgia of his lack wow the wheel hasn't turned yet so this is near future it's faded and he knows that it's faded okay uh we have the ace of wands in reverse with the death in reverse he doesn't want this to end he knows that it's been delayed this transformation but he wants to make that right how does he want to make that right nine of swords to end his pain with the four of swords in reverse and end separation two fours sorry that's not a four we had a four of cups here that was two fours yeah to end his pain and to uh end the separation he's done his healing okay yeah wow guys wow 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 so let's take a look at this divine masculine in the near future spirit as he moves on to his new path really beautiful reading you guys don't forget to like and subscribe if this is resonating for you if you would like a reading um yeah email me i'm sorry i got caught up because i just saw reconciliation here and my thought went whoa wait a minute um if you like a reading all that info is down below send an email because i'm only doing readings for june um because i have another kind of side business that i'm starting up on the side so I'm, i can only do these readings bit by bit um yeah like subscribe uh comment down below and let's see what is going on in near future energies for this divine masculine Yeah, he's done with that requited love thing for sure. Okay, so he wants to keep an open mind. Your soulmate differs from your usual type. Usually twin flames are like that. So he's uh, definitely going to keep an open mind that this is going to be completely different than anything that he's ever experienced before. It's not going to be the same. Um, he wants to maybe go away with the divine feminine, retreat from the world, disconnect from the world. So it's not that he's pulling back. There's two people on this card that are moving away because he wants to give this a chance. So he may want to take you somewhere. He may want to kind of close off from the outside world and just create this nice bubble with just each other to do some really deep healing work. Uh, to reconnect he wants forgiveness for this unrequited love okay of where he's been and um you'll know divine feminine you'll feel it right and if this is resonating for you you've already come into that place of forgiveness and letting go because you're ready for this union so this is you know forgiving and learning and this unrequited love you're like yeah he's like i don't want that anymore i hope you can forgive me divine feminine for this is where i've been so we're almost coming to the end of this reading but this mask was coming through very strong to talk to you guys i wasn't actually going to do a reading today but i felt so bad about the sound yesterday i'm like why is my video processing that way so yeah um i felt like i, I and i woke up this morning and i was like oh there's a masculine here that really wants to get a message out so let's do it okay so what is going on here with divine masculine his messages in the near future spirit 
it's so interesting because what I'm getting here is, you know, in the past, he talked to the karmic energy about the twin flames. And in the future, he wants to tell you about his karmic relationship. <laughs> He's saying unconditional loving kisses, unconditional loving, giving, receiving affection and falling in love. This is his plan in the near future. Okay. He wants to talk, interested, conversing more. A weighted message arrives, text, email, call. He's hoovering. He wants to talk about this karmic relationship and what happened. A lot has happened. Uh, can we get a little bit more? Can we get two more, three more? Because they got three. We'd like three. Thank you. And we're going to take the top. Okay. So he wants to talk to you about Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise. Invitation meeting. That's that retreat thing. Engagement. Partnership. Commitment. Eternity. Completion. Union. Coming into the next stage, guys. Beautiful. I'm wanting to talk about that. Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. That's that nine of pentacles we saw. So he's single right now. He's moving on. He's just spending time gathering himself. You know, when you have that reprieve after a massive karmic cycle. Oh, my dear Lord. Whoo yeah all right so that's why he's taking space right this is why he felt abandoned he can't feel you so he he's trying to connect he wants to feel that he's at a space now if you're connecting telepathically or you've been kind of cutting off the tele telepathy i know a lot of feminines have learned how to do that maybe open up a little bit if you're feeling pulled to and work in the energies with him so you can show that you're open and receptive to that and uh, to allow this merging to continue. And let's see some final messages now. Where did I put that deck? Where did I put that deck? There we go. <laughs> let's see some final messages from the masculine. What are some final messages from this divine masculine as we close the reading? What would he like to say to the viewer? also two sides and this one okay so we've got four okay divine feminine message our love has reminded me that you were walking beside me my entire life the presence I felt was you all along and I had no idea until now. Wow. So this masculine is completely aware that he has felt you his entire life and he's had awakening to that. And he was like, oh my God, this energy has been with me my entire life. I didn't place it that it was actually you. Now he's placing it. Now he's making the connection and feeling the feminine within him. He knows who you are on the inside. Our love has taught me to feel again. Thank you for being you. Oh my God, so beautiful. I felt like I had to read that because that one flipped. So I'm not gonna read, I'm gonna read the other ones as they just appeared, okay? But this one did do a weird flip. So that's why I did that. The masculine energy is saying, nothing can tear us apart. I pray for you. Please pray for me. Please pray for us. <sighs> power and prayer guys i i swear there is power in prayer completely beautiful beautiful so important so important i really i really encourage that beyond meditating and anything pray pray i keep getting attacked by darker forces i can't seem to pull out of it are you in a dark space so this masculine is being uh, attacked by darker forces and so feminine this is why we're saying the way to do that is to pray is to hold christ's energy okay is to um be very strong in your love with your masculine i know when entities would come at me i know that he was struggling and i would cast them out for him remember isis went down to hell and put osiris back together that is a divine feminine but it's not about concern to the masculine it is a concern for your union the energy between you and where the energy is being siphoned this prayer really helps okay you've got to be very powerful and very strong to claim your christhood and to be like i am a child of christ be gone demon be gone i i, I pray to the father i pray to the mother i pray to the holy spirit cut 
anything that is siphoning my union, my connection, and send them back to the gates of hell and to the people and to where it's rightfully coming from. And please have mercy on their soul is basically what you do. Okay. And I have a surprise for you. So that's what I was saying here. Um, uh, that's what this card said too. Um, engagement partnership. Oh, not this one. The Cupid's arrow. The, I think it was a Cupid's arrow that said, "Love is coming." Surprise invitation or meeting. So there's some there's something happening here. All right, guys. That is your reading. If it resonates and you'd like to get more detail, I get super super detailed because I can channel. I'm also a medium. I have all the psychic gifts that you can think about and the empathic gifts that you can think about. Yes, I know I'm super sensitive. So if you want a reading, hit me up for with an email. We can definitely get you booked in for June. I still have space. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and comment, subscribe. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye guys, have a good day.